Well, hey there, and welcome back for another second-hand opinions video. I'm Jason Alderman, the internet's favorite fat-mouthed fat-ass, bringing you fat stacks of fucked facts. I'm sure you guys have noticed I'm making some changes. Right at the moment, I've been playing with sound and fucking it up. Trying to find ways to produce better sound quality. I'm also trying to touch on the more important and interesting stories and share those in your direction in the hopes that you don't find me untrustworthy, but just loose enough to go look for yourselves. Because that's how you learn and know. That's how you form your own opinion. Mine are just hand-me-downs. Second hand. I don't think they're bad, but I bet I have a little unconscious bias. So here's what I want from you. If you have an idea on how to bring more to this for you, let me know. Drop me a line at grandpafatmouth at gmail.com and give me some constructive criticism. I know, I know. Sound has been absolutely shit recently. I'm hoping that's fixed with this video. Tell me my videos are too long or too short. Give me topics and stories. Tell me my lighting is shit or whatever you think is going to help get you a show that's worth checking out. I mean, of course we're doing it my way, guys, but you get to drive for a bit now and then. I'm in Eugene. Yeah, that Eugene. But if there's an event in Eugene or a story that you would like me to attend or check out or report on, let me know. And now, a little Patriot pep talk. Check it out, guys. You should be able to look around and see the tide turning. Dems are abandoning this peach mint fantasy. Doctors are coming forth with the truth about Epstein. California, in cinders and power-stricken for millions, the people can no longer escape acknowledgement of the fact that democratic rule and democratic cities and states is absolutely tyrannical and neglectful of the voters. Everyone is starting to come around to reality. It's dawning on them that they have already gored their own beast. Society knows this is over. From the tantrum on the streets, to the tantrum on TV, to the tantrum in the house, and the occasional fit flung from folks fucked by the far left, Three-year mental and emotional waterboarding. That fear and trauma bonding has run its course, and the metaphoric battered housewives of society are reaching for their cast iron skillets. It's been a fun fracas for a few years, you freaks, but the truth is, the people are disgusted with themselves for falling for this shit again. Or worse yet, knowingly backing lies to get what they don't deserve and hurting friends and neighbors because they feel cheap meaningless and petty due to Democrats who keep telling them they deserve more participation trophies. It's gotten so bad now they're envious of anyone just getting by and not going insane. Then they come calling on society with their hand out making demands. No, these folks are sick of being lied to for their agenda. Chasing a carrot on a stick and swimming up a stream against what they can see is obviously helping them and doing good for their country. So if you're feeling like you need some good news about the schism in the skiff, I've dropped a link in the transcripts from the Ukrainian phone call in question. Read it for yourself, and then you decide if there's any there there. In my not-so-humble opinion, the transcript shows this is all just another attack on President Trump and the people by the wicked whales in Washington who wish to wrangle the will of the woeful. Witnesses are turning up their nose and their finger to this theater of the strange. House members are turning their backs on the party line, and soon will hashtag walk away. These pompous pontificating pricks prattle on postulating prostitution of the people, post power play, while voters are turning on the Democrats. The people are so tired of going to battle for a government, who will obviously lie with indignant impunity right to their faces in an obvious, frantic, and failing attempt to steal the nation by any means necessary. This narrative that demands that you believe their lies even while you watch them slide the knife in. Will and May have already cost Democrats the House. The people are growing tired of standing on their dicks because Democrats say it'll make it grow. Well, let's all keep pretending like our opinions matter and leave that shit in the comments below. And remember, this is YouTube, so do all the things.